Sugar Mess is Jollico's first ever PSVR 2 game. It's an arcade first person shooter that is supposed to appeal to every member of the family. But is it actually fun? Is it worth your time and money? Well, let's find out. Hello everyone and welcome to Nothing But Gaming. Today we're gonna be reviewing Sugar Mess on PSVR 2. And what is Sugar Mess? Well, like I just said, it's an arcade first person shooter. It's a very family friendly game. That means pretty much everyone can play it and have fun while doing so. You, your kids, your wife, your dog, your cat. This is the type of game that appeals to everyone. Let's start here with the things that I liked about this game. And the first thing has to be the visual presentation and surprisingly, the art style. I say surprisingly because I'm usually not into this cartoonish type of games, but I kind of like the art style here. And perhaps that is because the game looks basically flawless. The game is not utilizing dynamic foveated rendering, but as far as I'm concerned, it doesn't need it. And that is because the resolution is already very, very high, like super high. It looks so sharp and clear, you can appreciate all the details even from a distance. There is no shimmering, no aliasing, no reprojection, and I didn't notice any Mura either. From a technical standpoint, the game looks superb. And artistically speaking, it's very colorful, very vibrant, and so full of life. Not only does the game look good, but it also runs good as well. During my entire playthrough, which didn't last long, and more on that later, but yeah, I did not experience any frame drops, or stuttering, or anything like that. The game runs at a rock solid native 90 FPS, and that is expected honestly, since this is certainly not the type of games that is pushing the PS5 or PSVR 2 to its limits. The soundtrack is what you would expect from a game like this, it fits the vibe of the game, and it gets the job done, but nothing crazy for sure. The gunplay is simple yet effective and fun, apart from the gun that you start the game with, there are also two other guns that you can purchase with the game's currency, I've tried one of them, which feels like a machine gun, it was kinda difficult to control and it demanded a double hand grip, and even though it offered a bigger magazine, it still felt like a step back from the standard gun, and therefore I immediately went back to that one. And it is awesome, easy to control, easy to reload, awesome haptics, and is used with a single hand, so you can never go wrong with it really. And those are pretty much all of the things that I appreciated about this game, sharp colorful visuals, solid performance, decent soundtrack, and fun gameplay with great haptics. I say gameplay, not gameplay, and that is because shooting is not the only thing that you're gonna do in this game. And before diving into the things that I did not like about Sugar Mess, I have a small favor to ask. If you're enjoying this video, and if you wanna encourage me to keep putting out PSVR 2 content like this, then please take a second out of your day and hit that subscribe button for me. We're on our way to 1000 subscribers, and as you guys see, we're still not quite there yet. So help a brother out here, I literally can't do it without your help. Thanks a lot for your support. And now, let's talk about the negatives of Sugar Mess. Like I said, shooting is not the only thing that you will be doing in Sugar Mess. This game has 10 levels total, and 4 of those do not involve shooting at all. And here's where the problems begin for Sugar Mess. You see, when you hear about an arcade game that has 10 levels, you would assume that these are 10 distinct, completely different levels, right? Wrong, because in the case of Sugar Mess, it's actually 5 different levels. Level 1, you're shooting cakes while standing still. Level 2, you're shooting cakes again, but this time in a roller coaster, and this one is my favorite. Level 3 is not actually a level, it's just a very basic puzzle that you can literally solve in a couple of seconds. Level 4 is a nice boss fight, and level 5 is a music rhythm one. Each and every one of these levels has a replica, a reskin, and that's how you get 10 levels. Although I must admit that the boss fights are somewhat different, so there is a little bit of innovation there. And by the way, the second boss fight, which is the final level of the game, is actually quite challenging. Like I actually died twice before beating it. But anyway, getting back to what I was saying earlier, Sugar Mess is not an arcade game that is all about variety. On the contrary, it's a game that gives you more of the same, which can be a good thing if you're into that, 
But if you're like me and you started this game thinking that every level is gonna offer a different experience, you're gonna be left a little disappointed. I should mention that the game does offer an additional arcade machine that you can play with, but then again it's just one game, and I found the controls to be really stiff. And did I mention that I beat the entire game in just one hour? It's clear then that the game has a variety issue and the content issue as well. Which is a shame because what's on offer here is really fun and it's really one of the most polished VR games that I have seen in a while. You should also know that there are no comfort sitting in Sugar Mess, no snap turning, no smooth turning, no vignette, no nothing. There is only one way to play this game and that is by physically turning. Which is fine by me of course, but it's definitely worth mentioning. Now I'm sure you noticed that I haven't talked about the story, well that's because I know you won't care about it. Unless you're 12 year old of course, which in that case, rest assured you will find it to be adorable. And yeah, I think that's all I have to say about Sugar Mess on PSVR 2. It's a fun little game, it looks great, it plays, feels and sounds great, but it's also a super super short game that desperately needs new content and more variety. Going back to the question that I asked at the beginning of this review, is Sugar Mess worth your time? Absolutely, I had a lot of fun playing it. But is it worth your money? Well, for 21 bucks, it's looking like a really tough sell at the moment. One hour of gameplay for $21 does not make sense in any universe. Now the developers did tell me that they will add more levels in a free update that will be coming in a month or two post launch. But even then, how many levels will they add? 5? 10? I'm afraid it will still be super short. And that's why I'd strongly recommend you wait for a significant sale. And I mean like 50% off kind of sale. And yeah, that's gonna do it for today's review. If you guys enjoyed it, as always, make sure you subscribe, like and share. Let me know in the comments if you're buying Sugar Mess or if you're just waiting for a sale like I recommended. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.